Hello, everybody. Welcome to today's Jumpstart. We're on chapter two of identity theft. I love this topic because we need to counter the devil's lies, counter what the devil is trying to tell us, counter the devil's distractions, counter what the devil is trying to convince us of, and counter how the world is trying to define us. Remember, Romans 12, 1 and 2, we need to renew our mind in the Word of God. God's Word has very specific things and he describes us, he defines us, he lets us know who we are. It's not your job that defines you. It's not your bank account that defines you. It's not your success or your position in church or any of those things that defines you. It's Jesus that defines you. And I'm just gonna read some of his promises so you can be encouraged today. I'm gonna read what God has to say about you because remember, you are a king, you are a queen. Let's not forget that. We have to remember who we are. And when the devil tries to lie to us, we need to speak out and say, no devil, it is written. So here's, a, here's one. I am born of God and the evil one does not touch me. That's 1 John 5.18. There is no way that if you are partners with God that the evil one is going to touch you. If the evil one is touching you, it's because you're allowing him to do it. The only way the devil has power over us is if we give it to him. If we allow him access into our life, what do you think he's going to do? He's going to steal, kill, and destroy. But if we say no, if we say it is written, or if we mention the name of Jesus, he has to flee. Guess what? Here's another one. You have the mind of Christ. What? That's right. You have the mind of Christ. You may not think that you do, but the Bible says right here in 1 Corinthians 2.16 and Philippians 2.5 that yes, as a believer, you have the mind of Christ. That means that when he tries to whisper his little lies, when he tries to tell you or make you think that you're something other than you are, you can remind him, no, I have the mind of Christ. This is who he says I am. I am more than a conqueror. I, I am the head and not the tail. I am blessed when I go in and blessed when I come out. You can say all of these things to him. He's going to try to convince you otherwise. Here's another one. I have the peace of God that surpasses all understanding. That's, that's from Philippians 4.7. You're not going to find peace in the world. You're not going to find peace with success. You're not going to, money will not bring you peace. Success will not bring you peace. It, it solves a lot of problems, but it, but it doesn't bring peace. The only thing that will bring peace and joy into your life, the only thing is Jesus. That's it. There is no two ways about it. So Jesus said, my peace I leave with you. My peace I give to you. I do not give to you as the world does. I give you peace. So receive it. You just have to receive what he's already given you. Here's another one. The Spirit of God, here it is, who is greater than the enemy in the world lives in you, lives in me. The same Spirit that raised Jesus from the dead is living inside of you. Yes, that means you should do great things. Yes, that means you are more than a conqueror. Yes, that means you can face any battle. Because you know why? You have the Spirit of God living inside of you. You are not average. If someone tells you you're average, realize in your mind that that is a lie. You are, how could you be average when one third of you is wall to wall Holy Ghost? We say, we, we, we call ourselves average and the Holy Spirit, the same person living inside of us that raised Jesus from the dead is living inside of us and we're sitting here calling ourselves average. Does that make sense? We are, we are nothing. Let me be clear. We are nothing without Jesus, nothing. But we are definitely not average with the Holy Spirit living inside of us. Romans 5, 17, I have received abundant grace and the gift of righteousness and reign in life through Jesus Christ. Have you thought about his abundant grace and mercy? Have you thought about his goodness, grace, and mercy? How his grace covers your sin, how his mercy covers you and, and you are forgiven. You are a child of God and you reign you reign. You have authority over the evil one. You have authority over principalities of darkness. All you have to do is know your authority and walk in that authority. Ephesians 1, 17 and 18. I have received the spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of Jesus. The eyes of my heart are enlightened so that I know the hope of having Christ, having life in Christ. I am always praying for the spirit of wisdom and revelation. 
You're not going to get spirit. You're going to get you're going to get some spirit, some wisdom and revelation from the world. But real wisdom and revelation, life changing and wisdom and revelation only come from Jesus, from the word of God. You've got to bury yourself in that word. We can't we can't depend on worldly books self-help gurus and all this other celebrities and athletes that think they've got it all figured out. We need that Bible. We need to know what the Bible says and we need to know what it says about us. We need to know what God says about us because he does say many things about us. I have received the power of the Holy Spirit and he can do miraculous things through me. I have authority and power over the enemy in this world. That's Mark 16, 17, and 18. Lay hands on the sick and they will recover. We have the power to cast out demons. We have the power to raise the dead. That's what the Bible says. Jesus even said we should be doing greater things than he did. But do you see that much? Do you see that in today's world? Oh yeah, there are people that are living that out. But we don't see it much in today's world. But guess what? You have death conquering a death conquering spirit inside of you you have the spirit that can say to the mountain be removed and it will be moved in jesus name by ourselves we are powerless but again this is just one of several scriptures that i'm talking about where god tells us who we are and we either believe it or we don't you have the spirit of god living inside of you walk in that spirit walk in that power and authority Remember, we walk by faith and not by sight. I've got more Bible verses coming up on the next jumpstart about who you are in Jesus Christ.